to conclude my field experience for this semester, I will be talking about Jeremy Blair and his um, talk on STEAM in a Zoom meeting with our class. Um, I have previously seen, I mean, heard Jeremy speak uh, in a Monday night meetup last year in 2020. Um, however, I love to be refreshed on this information, and he definitely had a lot of new points to provide. Um, Jeremy is an educator and, or an art educator and a Miami grad who focuses in STEAM education and really advocates and demystifies um, the concept for art educators. So he talks about how it's a really effective tool, not just for students um, to be exposed to subjects that they wouldn't normally see in art um, and ways to make art more exciting for kids. But as a way, I never even thought about this, for funding for schools. Um, unfortunately, in the digital age and the, the era of the internet, um, the schools don't really see, many schools don't see an intrinsic value to art. They are more focused on what jobs are going to be available in the future? What is the um, demand going to look like? And a lot of the time that is STEM. So to incorporate STEM into art, making STEAM, um, you add a lot of value in the eyes of school boards um, to keep the arts funded. Um, and that's, it's kind of sad that uh, it can't just be art to be art, but it does, it does bring into a good point. What is the future gonna look like? How are we gonna prepare our kids for the future? Um, and it can start in the art classroom. It's an awesome point that he made. Um, he also t perfectly ties in with our class, uh, talked about siloing, which was not a um, concept that I've heard of before. I mean, sure, the concept, but I didn't know there was a word for it. But basically, siloing is keeping um, uh, school subjects separated completely from each other and never cross-referenced or um, integrated into another one, um, basically the opposite of what we were trying to accomplish this whole semester. Um, so in an effort to de-silo schools, um, STEAM has been uh, kind of integrated into the curriculum to really synthesize everything that students were learning. And I think that's awesome because it gives kids really a deeper meaning and a deeper understanding, um, something that they're going to take away for a really, like, and think about for a really long time, rather than, I learned this here, I learned this here. These two things never interact with each other. But to synthesize, I learned this in social studies, math, um, <laughs> ELA, anything like that. And I learned this in art, and to put those two together will make a longer lasting impression than those two separated 100% of the time. Um, so just touching on some general advice that Jeremy gave, um, he said, don't rely on your degree to tell you everything. And that is so true. Like I, this whole semester, just reflecting back on every field experience I've been a part of, um, those are not intrinsically part of my degree. I could do anything for field experience. I could do the least involved um, things possible, but I, really try and seek out experiences and things I know that are really gonna um, give me a leg up in this in this field and get me prepared for what I'm about to experience. So he's right, seek out opportunities. Your degree is not gonna do enough for you just getting the piece of paper and getting out of there. Um, you really have to have those lived experiences. He also said don't expect to be perfect as an educator and as a perfectionist, um, <laughs> that's, my problem. <laughs> I think everything has to be perfect, and if it doesn't go 100%, I failed. So to really focus on humility and acceptance is a huge part of education and making mistakes and revising, and I love that I touched on that. Um, he, <laughs> My favorite thing that he said, though, was to spearhead and pioneer and not to be afraid to do those things. Um, and I hate the thought of just being another educator because it, it, it provides no meaning to me. Just to live in a student's life for a year or so and disappear never to be thought of or brought up again haunts me. <laughs> I want to do something that kids are going to remember. I want to do something that the art 
education community is going to remember and use for years to come. And so definitely, like, Jeremy has spearheaded and he has pioneered. And I am not saying I want to be Jeremy Blair, but I definitely want to make as big of an impact on others as he has on me and countless of my peers, um, as well as his students. So, yeah, that got that got sappy, but... <laughs> I I really appreciated Jeremy's talk, and I will be reaching out to him because he has some great, great ideas. Um, Yeah.